today is about vocal variety and body language. So today I'm going to focus on that. There are three great points that I like, and I observed three parts that I think could be improved. The first part is not about vocal variety or body language. I received Louis script about two days ago or three days ago. So that means Louis didn't just prepare his speech yesterday. He was well organized, he prepared, and from his speech, I could tell he designed his body languages and hand gestures. The second part I liked was Louis was good at using purposeful movements to emphasize his points. For example, when he mentioned if he didn't look for, he didn't fall in love into fitness, he would change from fit to fat to huge. Or when he emphasized his three points, there were all contrasts. He would put his hands here and then to the point he really wanted you to remember. And when he wanted to see a show of hands, he would raise his hands himself. All these purposeful movements were very meaningful. And the third part is, I think he used pauses and speed of voices very well. After each point, he would pause for a while so people can digest what they just heard, not super fast and they will forget what they just heard. For the point that I observed, my first suggestion would be getting rid of unintentional hand gestures. I think we all do it a lot. We're, when we're nervous, we tend to shake our hands very often. But I noticed that Louis did that every single sentence. So when he's not talking about intentional hand gesture, he's always doing this. Like if I'm talking right now, this is how Louis did. <laughs> because I can't. <laughs> I think it's because I was paying attention. I don't think Louis' hand gesture was distracting before today. But in order to improve that, maybe you can try to avoid it. And the second is, you can only walk when you want to interact with audience. I think walking and making good use of the stage is good. But because you almost fell three times today, <laughs> You bumped into the whiteboard and we had cord here. So if that happens, maybe you can try to avoid that. Maybe you're too nervous and you're not aware of getting tripped. And the last thing is slowing down a little bit. You, you, have, you still have 50 seconds left and some of the sentences were super fast. But otherwise, I think you did pretty well on vocal variety and body language. Back to GE.